All right. Um, well, hello, everyone. My name is Carter. Um, I come from Hong Kong, China, and uh, I'm 16 years old. I'm a high school student, junior. Um, I, I, I go to school in California. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a boarder, so I live in dorms in my high school. And uh, yeah, well, I created Autism Saphir with uh, one of my great friends, uh, Francis. And well, why did I create this project? It was, um, well, it was, it was the summer of 2023 last year um, when, when I uh, visited Shanghai and volunteered at a company called um, Xinglu, which is, um, well, basically an educational institution that for autistic people, um, um, they call it classes, but it's just a place for autistic people to be in. And well, after mentoring and helping them develop some problem solving skills and social skills, I was I was pretty inspired to make this project um, to allow allow those who could not easily visit uh, Shingla family um, due to various constraints. And well, what is Autism Sophia? Um, uh, it is a VR technology. Uh, there's three uh, three mini games that helps develop the motor and problem solving skills um, of autistic people. Uh, and the three games are a pipe connecting game, uh, a shape driven balloon popping game and a color sorting game. And, uh, to, to further add on to that, um, autism Sophia allows, um, a more convenient way to, uh, develop skills to, to those who, who might not be physically, physically able and, well, it helps. Uh, it, it helps strain uh, physical discomfort and anxiety, and lastly, it, it increases immersion and interaction. Uh, and well, this is a first game. It is a pie puzzle game where it's pretty simple. Just uh, the 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 goal, the aim is to get the water to flow from the top to the bottom. Um, and to do that, you connect different pipes to different shapes. Um, and then this is the sorting game. Uh, there's different color people, uh, mannequins, uh, and you're supposed to uh, move around and put them into their spot to sort them into their colors. And then the last one's uh, a balloon popping game, uh, also pretty simple. Uh, you're supposed to move the, the cursor or basically your hands and uh, pop the balloons of the colored uh, colors that is assigned to you. It's pretty simple. And well, I don't know if I can uh, access this video. Uh, I had my partner um, t uh, partner record it on the VR. Um, so yeah, I don't think I don't think we'll be able to show this, but it's pretty simple. It's similar to the uh, the pictures I've just shown above. Uh, and yeah, let's let's just move on. So what I did was uh, you use Unity three D. Uh, it's a, a game engine using C sharp. Uh, it's to build the game. And then all the models, like the pipes and little little people, uh, I built using Blender, uh, a 3D modeling tool, which was pretty convenient. It took me not a lot uh, of time to make everything. Uh, so pretty simple overall. Um, and well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to reach out to um, the autistic community in Xingla back in Shanghai, as I'm uh, far away, half an hour away. Uh, in California. So I turned to the people um, I know best, just my friends. I had them mess around and play play with the game through my VR and asked for some feedback. Um, and well, for both, uh, all three of the games, uh, they, they, they gave me feedback that it was pretty easy to understand and navigate. Um, and when asked if they would recommend the game to uh to their friends uh most of them said yes uh pretty likely and um uh, difficulty of the three games are mid to low which is where we want it to be and uh when it asked if they would likely to play it in the future um uh, results were pretty low um i think it is due to well we think it is mostly due to um the physical aspect it does not um look as appealing as some other games may be. And it is understandable. Um, 
it is not the best game. Uh, it is mostly just to improve skills of the autistic community. Uh, it is not directly meant for um, physically able or regular people to um, navigate around. And uh, three similar research projects were um, first one, an inclusive design approach for developing video games for children with autism selection disorder. Um, basically, they used Xbox Kinetic uh, and had childlike art to appeal to younger audiences. And um, a takeaway I had was to make my game more visually appealing um, as it was not um, as attractive physically, uh, like visually. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that what pro that's what prompted me to make my game uh, with brighter colors and more uh, more visually appealing features. Uh, a second second research project was uh, a pilot study on evaluating children with autism spectrum disorder using computer games and. Basically, they use the video games uh, as a medium for auti autism evaluation, um, different to my project, which is to um, improve skills of the autism community. This uh, project was for autism evaluation. And well, the takeaway for me was to use use my game performance as a <laughs> quantifiable uh, result to gauge and evaluate. Um, Last one, last research is um, effects of, of the video game Mind Light on anxiety of children with autism spectrum disorder. And this was a video game, uh, pretty old. It was built in the 2000s um, to investigate uh, anxiety symptoms of children with autism spectrum disorder. And my takeaway was to make and make my games in VR for a more immersive therapeutic um, intervention. And uh, close to my conclusion, uh, how can I improve autism severe? Um, personally, I feel like um, the game could be too easy at some times. So it is important to, um, to develop more difficult uh, levels uh, to test the person's problem solving skills um, sometimes it might not be as athletically pleasing, which is pretty important in games. Um, so that is one thing to work on. And then uh, lastly, I feel like it is important to get feedback from the uh, the targeted audience, which is the autism spectrum disorder community. Um, and I will try to bring this project back in China this summer um, to to have the community uh, experience it firsthand, physically, uh, in person. Uh, yeah, as it is pretty important to um, have the target audience experience uh, the game. And that's all. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh